audience wants to see your swing? If we use your video on air, you'll receive a new Tightlies ST Fairway Wood from Adams Golf, the first to feature multi-material bimatrix shafts. So send us your swing. Instructions. Use shutter speed. Make it SP, not EP, on your camcorder. Let's see you from down the line in all your glory. Let's see you from the side view so that we can have another look at that magnificent move. Show me your perfect grip and a close-up of that incredibly handsome face. Then, send your tape to Living Room Lesson, Care of the Golf Channel, 7580 Commerce Center Drive, Orlando, Florida, 32819. And we'll see you right here on Academy Live. Welcome back to our Adams Tight Lie Living Room Lesson with our subject and friend tonight, Dan Gillette. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, thank you. Had to say Dan. hello to Dean. Hello, Dean. Hi, Dan. How are you? I'm doing good. Do you want to ask him something about his swing before you tell him something well, about his swing? You, I just want to let you know when I mark you up on the screen like this, it's not this that bad, so I don't want to get you started here. <laughs> yeah, those apologies in advance make me nervous. It, it's my disclaimer before we get going. Let's take a little look at some information on Dan as, as he's looking to have in his golf swing. Dan, when you, when you play, what typically happens to your shots? Uh, they, they don't go very far, and they'll trail off a lot to the left. Yeah. If I really hit it bad, it'll, it'll slice real bad. Okay, well, the left, the, the left part is going to come, one, you have a, a, a fairly overly strong grip here, particularly with your left hand. So you'll notice as we get later in your swing, at the top of your swing up here, when the blade gets up there, that your face is very shut. All right? The big move is the first move back. Now, the Grant Wade is a student of mine, but also a, just a tremendous golf swing, one that you could emulate. It has great balance, movement, rhythm. And you'll notice in this first section here, we stopped it. You've overturned your chest and your hips at this point compared to Grant. Grant is facing more, you know, the, the camera angle, and so is the chest. So this first move of turning the torso is what's causing a great deal of trouble because it continues as you go up and we get up into the next frame, which will be just about uh, three-quarter high, just about right over your shoulder. You'll see how your swing, you start keep rotating your body, and Grant is basically just getting the club to swing up and allowing his body to turn. So you can see how your shoulders are almost at a full shoulder tilt right now. And Grant's hasn't, they haven't even gotten there yet. His right shoulder's right here, and yours is already behind your neck. This is what's causing you the biggest problem swing-wise. Now, we'll go up to the, the top of the swing. As we get up to the top of the swing, you'll notice you keep turning your back, and we put a, a, a red line here so that you've overturned here, and your hips are actually pointing out behind you. In Grant's case, his hips or belt buckle are facing more of the camera, and his shoulders are only at 90 degrees. Now, this also creates a big problem because it's overstressing your back, and we'll show that to you as you finish. Now, as we start the downswing, we move down to about waist high, you'll know, or three quarters, sorry, you'll notice that you turned your body to come down, and what happened is Grant moved his legs. You can see the bend in his left knee and calf, and yours is buckled the other direction. So you're starting down with your upper body as opposed to your lower body because that's how you got back. You used your upper body in turn to get back. As we come down closer to impact, You'll notice that as Grant swings the club down, his left arm is relatively on a straight line, and yours is now kind of buckled. You, your elbow goes out, and then you'll notice a little bit of a flip down here. Look at this line right here off your right leg. Your right leg is staying stuck, so that's what's causing this to start to buckle up, because your weight's staying back on your right foot. So now as we go uh, three quarters or halfway into the finish here, about horizontal to the ground, you'll see how your club is cupped and I drew a straight line at your left arm so your left elbow is taking a lot of a lot of uh, beating here because it's going the wrong direction and Grant's is starting to fold now I'm going to hold that there for a second because as I show you here when you swing you should start trying to keep your body the placket of your shirt your belt buckle facing the camera swing it back slowly allow the club and your el right elbow to bend here and I haven't hardly moved this body from here, just keep swinging it back up and you'll get a little bit of a turn. And when you start down, start moving, particularly your right knee, move it in, it'll push your left, 
and then try to get your left elbow to bend a little bit more on the forward swing so that your right elbow bends here almost like a right turn signal and your left elbow bends in the forward swing this will help prevent a lot of damage to your joints and, and tendons in your elbows. All right, and as we go up into the finish, we'll get to the finish here, and we'll get Grant up into the finish. You'll notice how Grant's in a much more vertical line. I've got this circle here at his lower back. It's pretty much straight up and down, and you'll notice how yours is torqued. It's not only twisted, but it's also what we used to call a little bit reverse C, and your arms are up a little bit too high, giving you a lot of pressure in your back. After the shot, the ball's already gone, and what we're trying to do is prevent, over time, more and more back injuries. So we try to get now the body to come back down like a Nick Price kind of a feeling, where you finish the swing and then just let your arms come back down so your spine is much more vertical. It would be a lot easier to balance once you get finished. So the, the key things for you, one, I'd go for a little less strong grip. That'll help, the, that'll help that, that left shot a lot. I'd, I'd weaken your left grip just a little bit. i do this drill, which is to take basically your right foot and bring your toe up like this so you can't turn. And then as you swing back and you swing down, you're not able to twist off of your, your right leg as much. And then hit shots like this where you have to finish just using your hands and arms a little bit more. If you do that, and you do that with a ball on a tee very slowly, you'll get a much better balanced relationship between your body turning and the club swinging with your hands and arms. Anything else you'd like to share with him? Those are the big points. I mean, there's a lot there, but if he does it slowly and he starts to get the club to swing up here and this elbow bends like this and he swings here and he gets this one here, that'll fix that fairly quick. Dan, is there anything that you'd like to ask Dean before we let you go? Yes, uh, my left knee buckles or bends early on in the swing, so should I try to keep it real straight, or not straight, but locked? Uh, your left knee bends which direction, Dan? Uh, like downward. That, downward? Yes, yeah. towards as the camera. As, as my back swing. Right. If, if, and that's because it's being forced to bend. You don't, it doesn't have a choice because what you're doing is you're turning your body like this and you're, all your torso turn, your shoulder turn is using your left leg as your support leg. So when you go backwards and you reverse that, your body weight has to go back into your right leg. So what you want to do is take, the, take that and swing like this first to get the hands and arms to move a little bit, and then when you start actually putting both feet down, what you want to the inside edge, a lot like skiing where you'd be cutting an edge. And if you get that to this point where you're three quarters and your weight's there, then it'll be able to go the other direction. Thank you very much. You're Dan, welcome. thanks for being with us tonight. I'm glad you taped this. Work on your game, and it'd be great if you'd let us know in 100 days how you're doing. Okay. Take thanks, good Dan. care of yourself. You thanks for being time. with us. We'll be right back and take your calls. Mm -hmm.